So Sam Felt joining us in the studio. Thank you so much for coming into 978 Dance. Welcome. Thank you. And uh, so you are recovered fully from from you, from when you fell off the scooter. Yeah, luckily, yeah. yes. Uh, last year I had to cancel my main stage tomorrow and performance. Uh, was stuck at home for two uh, two months. Had to cancel, I think, 25 shows. But yeah, it's uh, it's going a lot better. Yeah. I can jump again, dance again, and oh, uh, yeah, I still do a lot of uh, physical therapy and stuff to. Mm -hmm. uh, Get it back to 100%, which but it might not get to, but you know I'm still working hard with the trainer okay, to uh, get back. But you can do the jump off the off the desk. Yeah? I, I'm not doing that You're yet. Not doing that yet. No, no, I, I'm, I, I've gotten a lot more careful since, yeah. since the accident because now I know what can happen. If Does it make you feel old? I guess in a way, yeah, yeah. To be honest, when I see all the other DJs jump off the stage, yeah. I'm like, wow. <laughs> Maybe. I, I wish, I wish I could do that, you know. And I feel like I'm like this guy, like 60 year old guy oh, playing a DJ Maybe set. you could just have like a small step. Yeah, you yeah. Know? It's like a tiny jump. Yeah. Like for a show. And everyone's like, yeah. Here's what. That's what made me feel old because I got physical therapy for the first time. And I'm looking around and everybody else is like, oh, I fell out of bed, I hurt my back. And that's when I was like, oh no, mm -hmm. I'm an old person. <laughs> yep, that's when, you, when I first noticed that, I, that, I, that there were any restrictions on my body, you know, like with yeah. the accident and then recovering again. Yeah. And then, you know, not being able, after the surgery, I couldn't even move my leg. It was so, so destroyed, so. And before that, you're like, I could do whatever I want. I'm gonna jump off the stage. That's that it. a helicopter? Let's see what that's about. Dude, I, I jumped, I think three <laughs> meters high and it was always fine, but <laughs> it, it doesn't go always go like that. You start with Martin Garrix, right? Like, right. So it, it can go wrong too. Right. So I'm, I'm just taking it easy. Yeah. Playing safe. That's yeah. cool. You know what? Yeah. We're just we just want to hear the music. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. the most important part, that's right? True. Yeah. Uh, now you started. Is it true that you started when you were 11? Yeah, yeah. So DJ. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was a drive-in show back then. So I uh, every every year with my uh, birthday, I used to ask for cash, and I would buy like a smoke machine and stuff like that, and uh, we would go to like birthday parties with my friends with my dad set up play for like 20 bucks for like six hours and yeah that's how it started like the drive-in show did all your friends think that that was the coolest thing in the entire world were you the only one that was <laughs> it, DJing? it made me cooler yes yeah. yes yeah but there were actually a lot of people also in my school that were doing it for some reason yeah even in my like uh, elementary school did yeah. you have a dj name when you were 11 I don't think so. No. no, I had a duo with a guy, like a friend, like from uh, that was back then. It was one of my best friends, uh, and we, we used to play together a lot. The Sam and Olaf show. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. catchy. Yeah, and we even made business cards and logos and stuff. Very <laughs> professional for, for an eleven-year-old. Maybe you could bring it back. Yeah, well, we'll see. <laughs> um, earlier today, you tweeted out saying that you, well, how would a collab sound? with Timmy Trumpet. Yeah. So what's that all about? Well, we, we saw each other, uh, I think, at Electro Beach in France, and there's no collab yet, uh, let's be honest. But uh, yeah, I think it's, it's really interesting what he does with his show, with the live elements that he incorporates, that I do as well. Yeah, I have a trumpet player as well. Yeah, you're a me. trumpet and a saxophone guy. Yeah, and, and now they're doing piano and drums as well. So yeah. you'll see next week at the main stage, it's actually a full live experience now, instead of just a DJ plus horns you know and yeah like, that's yeah. cool so that's why I, I saw the link and i thought it was a funny post but no call up <laughs> yet no <laughs> you're gonna have a few people ask you questions about yeah <laughs> um and obviously you're playing tomorrowland a couple of times this year what what's the vibe like what do you feel it's a different energy here isn't it to anything Always. else yeah like i said last year unfortunately i had to miss it but every year it's it's very special it's gonna be the first main stage performance for me next uh next week mm -hmm. so anxious but excited for that as well yeah. uh so prepared a, a really cool special set lots of new music as well um, and today it's gonna be just fun you know I'm, I'm doing a DJ set one and a half hours freestyle we'll mm -hmm. see what happens when you do the main set are you gonna do Post Malone yeah obviously yeah, 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 yeah. that track is really going through the roof right now I think it's at 1.3 million streams every day and right. radio's picking it up so we'll see where it goes we, can we talk about I realize that everybody is going to ask you the same questions about this song but we have to know for ourselves <laughs> what's it like obviously that song was inspired by partying with Post Malone well I haven't Stop! Yeah, was yeah. this song just an attempt to get you at a party with Post Malone? Was this the whole reason? If that would ever happen, then then, I, then my mission would be fulfilled. No, he has no. to. Well, I think I think everybody has like this image around rappers, you know, and how they party with, yeah. with you know big bottles and stuff like that. Uh, and I thought it was just like a fitting pop reference, I guess. But no, I've never partied with him. Nah. Mm. Who knows? We will do our best to make that happen. We realize that we don't have an influence like you, but we're going. We're, we'll, we'll send him some tweets. This, this song Thanks should a help. Lot. I think we'll send him some tweets. We'll do anything we can. 
I'm sure he, he must have noticed by now because we're in all in the same playlist. You know, like it's crazy. <laughs> he must have seen it. He must have He's seen like, it. He's like, wait a minute. No, he didn't reply anything yet. Did so he know? I don't know if he likes well, it. He's laid it. back. What, sorry? He's really laid back. Yeah, yeah. I, so I, I don't know. I've got a couple of friends that know him, but even through them, I haven't maybe, heard anything yet. So Maybe uh. he's just playing hard to get at the moment. Yeah. And he's wondering how to message back. Maybe he'll slide into your DMs or something yeah, like that. Yeah, maybe, maybe. After, maybe in a couple of months, you know, um, <laughs> looking back at it. Yeah. <laughs> What, what, so you've performed in Dubai a few times, yeah. do you enjoy it, are you coming back, what's going on? Uh, I don't think I have any confirmed shows right now, always uh, happy to be back, uh, I play, yeah, I play Sensation, uh, obviously also the smaller events, I played the Five Rooftop, which is a great hotel yeah, as well, love it. Uh, I think that was the... Uh, I think that was the last time I played there. But yeah, it's always good fun. I like the international crowd there. You know, you got people from all different parts of life, mm. places in the world coming there. And I think you guys have a really cool dance music culture. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And also, we've got fast cars as well. I noticed you just bought yourself a new Beamer. Yeah, true. Yeah, which is uh, slightly less fast than the one I had before, <laughs> but more spacious. So, for example, today uh, I'm driving up with uh, with a few friends, and that wasn't possible before. So I'm very happy with it. Yeah. What did you have before? I had an i8, which is a sport, like an electric sports car, Ooh. which has two seats and then room for maybe one backpack. So right. It's very cool to drive, but it's super unpractical. You're getting, yeah. you look at you, you're getting a sedan, you're going to physical <laughs> therapy. What's, come on, man. <laughs> like I said, I'm getting old, man. Like I feel, I feel, I feel old. No, no, it's, it's a great car still. It's still very fast, but uh, yeah, it allows me to uh, carpool and bring my friends to shows, which is, which is really cool, yeah. I like it, but you know what? You kind of had a taste of the, uh, the old school life before you started DJing officially. Didn't you, you ran your own design company? Yeah, I did uh, web design, web development ever since I think I was maybe 11, 12. Yeah. yeah. You, well, I wish I would have started something when I was 11. I, I feel know. like I'd be way more successful. I was, I, was a big, just... I was a big nerd. Yeah, I was on all the online forums, like web design forums and stuff like that. Just trying to get better. I got my first official job as a web designer when I was 13. And I walked into the office of the company and they were like, who are you? I yeah, yeah. I you hired me. <laughs> that is I, I didn't know you were so young. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They just hired me based on my CV, but it didn't look at the date of birth. They were like, what the fuck? I expected someone of 30 years to come in, and I was 13. Dude, yeah. mental. I have to ask, and then we'll let you go. When you had that job, what was your least favorite part of the corporate office type structure? I think, you know, just not being, uh, b b having that freedom of location, yeah. you know, and that's what I really have, I've learned to enjoy right now, obviously, since I'm traveling every day, uh, and I think, you know, nowadays you can work from anywhere, why be stuck in a boring office? Yeah, and the yeah. emails, I bet, were so annoying. Well, I get more emails now, to be honest, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But the fun I'll, emails, before it was like, we need you to put the TPS cover sheets on all the reports. That's true, yeah, yeah that's true, the, the emails have gotten more fun, but also have definitely multiplied, yeah. I'm going to get in trouble for talking. You for yes. too long, but thank you for talking thank to you us. Thank you so much, <laughs> thank and you. Uh, good luck for your sets. Thank you, appreciate it.